So with Java 9, uh, finally uh, Java has become some uh, has has gotten a REPL, a read eval print loop, something that other programming languages had for a long time, uh, and it's something really useful if you want to just try out a couple of code constructs, learn a new API, uh, evaluate a short expression to find out uh, uh, what it uh, evaluates to, and it's just like a shell. You type something, it will be evaluated um, and. Tool. And this tool is using the JShell API to evaluate expressions in the uh, form of a REPL. So I type JShell here uh -huh. on the shell. JShell will open and I can uh, type help to see uh, the commands that I can use. I can import files. I can do stuff. But uh, uh, the simplest thing I can do is I can evaluate Java expressions like 1 plus 1. And JShell will um, evaluate it, will print the result, and in this case, it will also create the variable for me automatically, $1, um, which I can use in more statements. Like, for example, I can say $4 plus $1, and it will make a new variable, $2, and s uh, show me what it evaluates to. So I can very quickly uh, um, find out um, uh, what, what an expression evaluates to, and sometimes that's surprising. So, for example, if I type uh, 12 plus 8, I integer see. number too large. That's, mm. uh, that's strange, huh? Or um, you get strange results. Uh, uh, like okay. this. So you would probably expect this to be 324 instead mm -hmm. of 322. That's because a leading zero in Java uh, um, uh, makes, it be, uh, uh, makes it interpreted as an octal number. So it's a different number system. And you can, ex you can experiment and find out these things uh, if you have some, some strange bug in your code and, and, and find out like this. So, S so you can learn about the syntax, kind of. You uh, can learn about the, the syntax. Yeah, the expressions. And if, yeah, and, and if you want to learn a new API or something like that, you can just type, uh, create an object, see what methods is it has, what it returns, what it does. <laughs> and um, so I wrote a little um, application that helps you learn the, um, the JShell, and that's called the Java Duke Adventure. And it's basically uh, a, a way you need to get, you're the Java Duke, and you want to get into Java One Conference Cool. to meet James Gosling. Oh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so that's the, that's the task, and you have a couple of methods. And um, in, the, in the course of this, uh, um, of, of, of this, you will learn a lot of stuff that you can do with the, uh, with the API. You can do st stuff like, first you need to start the adventure, so you can simply call a static method on Java Duke Adventure and it will tell you uh, something about your surroundings like here for example it's like a classic text adventure you can select go east and obviously the door is closed so you need to do something and you need to solve some uh, some puzzles and for these puzzles you need to use the JShell itself and explore the features like define new classes write methods and stuff like that <laughs> that is one thing uh, that I did in the session um, and this is basically for learning how to work with the JShell um, and as you mentioned NetBeans um, NetBeans has great JShell support so inside of the IDE, um, you have much better um, code completion mm -hmm. than inside the JShell. JShell has basic code completion, which is great, but uh, inside the IDE, you obviously have more. Right. And uh, the main topic of my talk was um, how can you use that for debugging applications, actually. And that is something really great. Um, so NetBeans is now an Apache project, mm -hmm. Apache incubator project. And currently, they are preparing uh, the release 9. So Oracle has basically transferred all the uh, rights to uh, Apache Foundation. And uh, so in the past uh, year, there was lots of legal stuff going on. But now we are finally reaching basically that point where NetBeans is going to be released. And one of the greatest features is the JShell integration. Cool. So um, if you have like a, s uh, I have a s this simple sample application here uh, that ships, that comes with NetBeans, that's called uh, uh, Anagram Game. And if you run that, it will show you a small, yeah, just this small dialog 
where you have a, a scrambled word, mm -hmm. something to do with Java or programming, and you need to guess it. For example, this one, I, I know it, I've played it a lot of times, <laughs> is abstraction. And you can guess, and it's correct, and you, I can try a new word. So with NetBeans and uh, uh, JShell support, I can now live debug this application because was n what NetBeans does, it has an agent, and this agent lives in the process of this anagrams game, and it, uh, uh, I can connect via the JDI, uh, Java developer, um, um, Java infrastructure, to this uh, shell and now execute some, some, some code, for example. So for this, I open the Java sh uh, shell for programming, and now I can say like anagrams A. NetBeans does an automatic import. That's also one of the benefits is anagrams. Anagrams. So I have uh, now an anagrams object, and I can say, for example, A dot get. Um, Guess button, I think. Do click. Let's see if that works. Yes, it worked. Incorrect, try again. So it automatically clicked this button. And I can do stuff like I usually can only do, have, well, for swing application, I can do stuff I can otherwise only do uh, with JavaScript or CSS and then with the debugging tools there that I can really live change the application to see, for example, um, what would it look like if the guest button has a green background. Set background. Color. What do we need? Yeah, Java RVT, color, green. And the application updates. So, and that's not, that's a really small application. I didn't have to do anything about this application uh, uh, to make it uh, uh, instrumentable uh, in this way. It's, it's, it just works automatically, and that works for s large applications, and I can really live uh, debug the application, and, and, and this opens really new, uh, new possibilities. And kind of build a prototype as well, right? Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and so you on the fly... You and code and on the fly right? change it. Yes. And uh, you this... You see immediately the results, and yeah, so yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. It's much faster than having to launch the application exactly. again, and, and I, I want to try it now. And I say, like, okay, it looks like... Uh, it doesn't look like nice so um, forget about it but if I find a setting that that I like I, I just uh, uh, use it in my application and NetBeans also has this approach that you can type you create a new class for example mm -hmm. and then you right click it here in the editor and you say like create a class out of this uh, because you prototyped an algorithm or something like that to speed up development I don't know if I like that so much I think it's an, it's a nice feature I don't know if I will use it that much but this I will definitely use that's really extremely useful and I'm really looking forward to uh, this NetBeans I built myself on this okay. machine but I'm really looking forward to the release of NetBeans 9 also because it will show that NetBeans is still alive and uh, is now a real community driven project Apache has this approach that you basically uh, so, so the preferred way of distributing software is source code. Okay. So everything is source available as source code, and you can you can download it and you can build it, and it takes like on my machine um, like 15 minutes or something, and you will have a NetBeans that you can use. There are also some uh, continuous uh, builds. So for Windows, I think, and for Linux at least, you will be able to simply download the binary as well. But uh, this is the preferred way of doing it. And it's fun to see that to build your own NetBeans on your own machine. That's too open source, right? <laughs> <laughs> so w do you know the, do you remember the URL to uh, find more information about NetBeans? Uh, yes. You bookmarked it, didn't you? Yes, it's somewhere in one of these. Ah, so this is your presentation? Yeah, this is my presentation and I had the links there somewhere here. Perfect. So here are so all the, the links that uh, you need to build NetBeans. 
Yeah, and, and also a link where it shows you what cool new features there are, like, for example, support for modules, Java 9, and uh, JShell. J oh. I think JShell is the coolest thing, because modules is boring for, uh, for, for everybody can do that. But JShell, the JShell integration, that's unique. Right, you can touch the code you more. Can, yes, right? yes, exactly. <laughs> so, and... Uh, right. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming by and talking about JShell. Thank you for having me.